should the Chicago Bears trade for Jonathan Taylor? Let's talk about it starting now. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page. We do talk Chicago sports daily on this channel. It's the only channel talk Chicago sports. How Chicago talks. So make sure that you get in tune with us, man. So drama in Indy. Anytime there's drama in Indy because of Matt Eberflus, we always ask the question, should the Bears go get that guy? But uh, Jonathan Taylor requesting a trade from the Indianapolis Colts. Jim Ursay basically saying they have no intentions of trading Jonathan Taylor, but that's always if a package comes along that is worth the trade. And of course, now the question on the table, should the Bears be interested in trading for Jonathan Taylor? And I want to... It's this is a tougher one because Jonathan Taylor is a monster, but you have to be careful with those guys who, even though he is still young, Jonathan Taylor, only 23 years old, I believe he's 24 coming into this season now um, in three years here, he's got an 1100 yard season with 11 touchdowns. He's got an 1800 yard season with 18 touchdowns, but he did have over 300 carries that season. Then that next season deals with a little bit of injury, 192 attempts. 861 yards, only four touchdowns down year. Um, did that in 11 games, by the way. Um, and that is the norm. When you run somebody that hard, there usually is a return to the mean or some sort of injury, some sort of issue that comes up that next season because you worked him like a dog. And so I, I, applaud Jonathan Taylor for the running back that he is. I think that he's still got a lot of good football left in him and he would be a young back that the bears could go out there and get. But the question mark for me is, is that going to fix this team? Is that the thing that's going to make this offense better? Is that the thing that vaults this offense to unstoppable? And while you might feel like, yes, of course, Jonathan Taylor would do that. I would say, can you still do those things with Khalil Herbert, with Deontay Foreman, with Roshan Johnson, all standing in your backfield? And that's going to depend on the dogs up front. To me, you have a good run blocking unit in place. I want to see them, of course, get themselves back into what they were at uh, last season but right now you have a situation where you could have a running back and possibly Jonathan Taylor coming in who's going to be a really good production guy but you are going to have to pay him and you already know where he stands on the running back conversation right you know where he stands on the situation where okay right his owner came out basically and said we're not paying running backs like we're not in the market you can sit here and cry and complain and all of that we're not going to sit here and overpay you Jonathan Taylor doesn't like that once the get out of there and he says no and now right like like there's kind of this stalemate here but should the bears be trying to get on the phone for jonathan taylor i think there's a conversation maybe if you're going with a conditional pick late round fifth fourth pick maybe fourth round pick something like that um but then you have to ask yourself are you going to try and pay this guy and Listen, I said this on the podcast before, right? Like when we, and by the way, tune in. The Daily Show is back Monday through Friday. We're talking Chicago sports every day. The Windy City Breeze. We're going to get back in the studio with it as well. Getting the lighting issue sorted out. Just wanted to, you know, do kind of a couple kind of test runs. But now we're going to be getting that back in place fully. But here's the thing. Two things can be true. Running backs can be a very important piece of the football team. And they can also be a dime a dozen. Unfortunately, when you look at this position, there's no logical explanation to paying running backs. There is no logical explanation to a team winning a Super Bowl by paying their running back. In fact, literally the only examples we give of guys who overpaid the running back position are the guys who haven't lived up to that expectation. And so to me, right, if you're coming into a situation where you see Jonathan Taylor trying to make a move, the answer is not at the running back position and I don't think that it bolts the Chicago Bears to this unstoppable team that many people think that it does 
if that's going to happen, it's going to happen with the guys that you already have here because I think that gets done with the run blocking. Think about this, the offensive line issues that uh, uh, um, the, the Colts had last season, right? All of a sudden, we're not seeing the same Jonathan Taylor. We're not seeing the guy who's running for 1,800 yards. Now, granted, I attribute that more to having him run 1,800 yards the season before. I think that that just puts too many miles on a guy that burns a guy out. But when you don't have a quarterback, what are you going to do? And I understand it, right? You want to have those guys who are the offense, right? Like a Saquon Barkley is the offense. A Derrick Henry is the offense. A, a uh, uh, um, Christian McCaffrey is the offense. And so I understand that you would love to have that guy, but you know when you'd love to have that guy when he's on his rookie deal, when you can get him for nothing, when you can basically have him at a minimum price, and then you hope by the time he's up for contract, he has an understanding of what the value of the position is and that you can hold on to that guy. That doesn't always happen. We're seeing that not happen now with a lot of the running backs here who are looking for more value out of their deals. Saquon Barkley ends up taking the one-year deal, right? But at the end of the day, I just don't think that that's the answer for the Bears to take this next step. If I'm going to spend my money anywhere, I'm spending my money on edge rusher long term. I'm spending my money on offensive line long term. I'm spending my money on, of course, the quarterback position. Hopefully, Justin Fields pans out long term, right? Like, and so those are the things to me that I look at. And I'm not sitting here, and this isn't even slander. Like, I, I get Jonathan Taylor's an amazing running back. He is. He's a he's an amazing talent. He's one of the top talents in this league if not the best. Um, but at the end of the day, and, and he does everything, right? It's not like I'm sitting here telling you like he can't even do more. He does everything. He catches the football really well. He comes out of the bat. He is a asset, a weapon on every team that he's on. But at the end of the day, you go out and you find that guy again. And I know we're going to say, you don't just find those guys every day. Well, we feel like we found that guy in B. John Robinson this year. A lot of Bears fans and a lot of the media looking at a guy like Roshan Johnson where the Bears feel like they might have found a guy similar to that. And it's not about going out and getting 1800 yards. He's getting 1800 yards because he doesn't have a quarterback that can throw the football. And so you got to run him a uh, uh, 332 times in 17 games. That's really what that comes down to. We don't want to see that here in Chicago. Yes. You want to see less. Yes. You still want to have that dynamic player, but you want to find that dynamic player on a young contract. So for me, I'm, I'm against going out and getting a guy like Jonathan Taylor because it's going to cost you draft compensation. It's going to cost you, uh, of course, long-term cash, and you know that he's not coming in here looking for a small money contract. He's looking to set a, a uh, running back market type contract here, and I'm just, I'm not on board with ever doing that at that position. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you guys as well, and I don't want you guys to feel like this is my normal, right? Running backs are a dime a dozen. These guys aren't a dime a dozen players, right? Saquon Barkley's not a dime a dozen. Roquan, or I'm sorry, uh, 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 um, Jonathan Taylor, not a dime a dozen. Derrick Henry, not a dime a dozen. You don't find those guys every day, but can you find me an 1,100-yard guy who and, and a, another guy who can give me another six? I think that I can. And with that, can you find me the offensive line that continues to open up holes for those guys? I think that I can. I mean, honestly, you think about it, right? The last Pro Bowl running back to win a Super Bowl, I believe, is Marshawn Lynch. And... If I'm not mistaken, he wasn't even the leading rusher on that team that day, right? It's just, it's not how the NFL is played anymore. It's not how football is done. And there's no reason to, like, I get it. I get the running back fight. They want more money. They want to figure out how to get paid more. And we want to be fair to everybody. But I hate to tell y'all this. And I did this on the, on the podcast as well. Make sure you guys go check out. I post just the running back conversation that we had. We had a really good running back conversation on why you should or shouldn't pay running backs. It's not just the running back position. Go look at your NFL payrolls. I asked AD, I said, look at the NFL payrolls. How many guys on a team make more than $5 million? On the Chicago Bears, I believe it was nine. On the, on the uh, uh, Kansas City Chiefs, I believe it was eight. They, they, more than, there's not a lot of players on a 53-man roster that are making more than $5 million. It's not just the running back position. I get right the value and, and what these guys are, but... Why aren't we complaining for the guys who are the, the defensive ends that make 2.5 million? Why aren't we complaining for the guys who are the wide receivers that make 2.5 million? Why are we? We're only complaining about the running back position. And you want to know why? Because I, I, 
I, I kind of alluded to this when we interviewed Thomas Jones on the show and asking this, and he said that he didn't think that it was true, but guys are specialists now. You want to know the guys that get paid usually, and the only reason we're having this conversation now is because of the Saquon Barkleys who didn't end up getting the money that they were worth. The running backs that end up getting paid are the guys who are the anomalies, and you want to know what? Derrick Henry's an anomaly. Derrick Henry does everything. Christian McCaffrey's an anomaly. Christian McCaffrey does everything. We weren't surprised when those guys got paid. We weren't sitting here having these conversations when those guys got paid. And so for me, right, like if you have that guy, then yeah, I'm more willing to have that conversation. But if you have, I mean, uh, uh, whatever it is, right, like name whatever back that there was that was amazing, you'll probably find a running back that came after that guy that still was pretty good. And heck, in Chicago, we continue to do it. Remember, every single time we've done this, and I, I the one thing I'll applaud about the Bears is they continue to do things this way. Remember Jeremy Langford? Can't move on from Jeremy Langford. He's unstoppable. We have to keep him. Goes to Jordan Howard. Can't move on from Jordan Howard. How could we ever let go of Jordan Howard? He's unstoppable. We have to keep him. Goes to David Montgomery. We can't move on from David Montgomery. He's unstoppable. Like, we keep going through this cycle, and yet we keep being able to find those guys who are able to make an impact from the running back position without overspending that's where i want to stay as a bears fan but hey i do want to know how you guys feel man let me know in the comments below i'll be down there talking with you as well as always it's your boy pat the designer back at it again to continue watching our chicago bears content click the links on the screen or check the links in the description below yeah stay safe out there bears fans bear down peace